The Rockets on their way to the locker room earlier on, looking to deliver the gift of a big win to the home crowd tonight. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. An aerial view of the many buildings making up the skyline of beautiful Houston, Texas, our broadcast setting tonight. We are just about ready to get underway here in game two of the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. 2K Sports brings it to you live once again. With David Aldridge on our sideline and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, this is Kevin Harlan. GA, it's all yours. Rockets coach Mike D'Antoni is the modern day godfather of pace and space. His teams in Phoenix popularized small ball, moving around and pushing the tempo in their seven seconds or less offense. It's ironic that now his Houston team plays a much slower isolation style of basketball. But Kevin, that shows his flexibility and D'Antoni's ability to adapt to his personnel. Whatever works, David. Thanks. And checking out Utah's opening lineup, Conley runs the point with Mitchell flanking him. At the forward slots, it's Bogdanovich in Ingles. And it's Gobert in its center. And for the Rockets, Tucker and Capella are up front. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. And it's Green in at the three. So off the tip, it's Utah. Westbrook against Conley. Pass to Bogdanovich. On deep. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Bogdanovich has got the game going with his first points of the game for the Jams. Near the three-point line, it's Westbrook. A quick shot there, and it's off target. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. Basket counts. And Conley, because of his quickness and wingspan, he plays bigger than his size. Now, here is Harden. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Pulls it up. Misses off the right eye. Miss opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Conley for three. It's rebounded by Houston. To come into the game following the win on Sunday consistent with their aggression in that game we saw very few lows from an intensity standpoint a couple things stood out for me they were relentless and they also played under control that's a deadly combination and it's Mitchell missing you know what though sometimes you can be too open I think it may have surprised him and that's why he missed or three Westbrook Westbrook missing again I don't know how many misses that is in a row but I know it's ugly a nice shot by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got five now. And I like the commitment from Bogdanovich. Even when he gets knocked around, he stays focused on the rim. The Rockets with another miss. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an over for the first five here to start the game. And it's Mitchell missing. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Conley's shot is off. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Westbrook can't get it to go. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken, and the team is suffering the consequences. And it's Mitchell missing. It's trailed by seven. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Conley. And there's the pass to go big. Shot clock at six. Now here's Mitchell. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Here's Westbrook. 
He's still scoreless so far in this one. Over Conley, and that one's good. Westbrook. And Westbrook is a terror from the mid-range. Terrific at sticking it to the defense from that spot on the floor. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. Jazz with some changes. One fifty-eight left here in the first quarter. Davis kicks to Green. Utah keeping it alive. The new fourteen. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. The Jazz shooting their first free throw of the night here. got 148 left to play in the first outside Gordon back to Rivers outside Gordon just five on the clock a rebound by the Jams here's Moutier uses the glass to finish the layup huge hole in the defense that possession he didn't waste any time cutting through it here's rivers a shot that time not on target so utah will take it the other way out to the wing here's exum a chance to extend the lead to double digits but it's no good that's a two from gordon off the left rim and out they have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Now, here's Exo. He's guarded by Rivers. Moutier against Gordon. Moutier past to O'Neal. Offensive rebound. Davis goes up again. He lays it in. Man, that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now here's Gordon. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Utah in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Russell Westbrook is surly disposition on the court, but he talks about the power of positivity with his teammates. Throughout the years, I've been trying to find ways to be a better leader. Uh, leadership was a huge thing, and um, I felt the way I reacted to certain plays and my facial expressions um, and my demeanor can change a lot for a teammate. Well, you can't win it alone. And for superstar players like Westbrook, individual greatness isn't enough. It's about elevating the team around you. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. You can do everything else right, but if you fail to take care of the defensive glass, you're killing your chances. So on the floor for Utah, they've got O'Neal. Davis is out there with Green. Then it's Exum, and it's Moutier in at the two guard. Now here's Gordon, and it's in there. 
Gordon's got four points now in the quarter. The D made their presence known, but it still didn't stop him from getting that one to go. Exum dishes to Davis. O'Neal inside, guarded by McLemore. Here's Moutier. The teardrop falls in. And the Jazz lead by seven. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. And it's Gordon missing. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. Moutier, no good. Can't fault the play call, even though he couldn't convert. That's a good shot. Time out, time out. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Utah calls timeout. up going with the new group. Here is Conley. Passes it to Gobert. Nice ball movement by Utah. Conley gets the bucket. Conley's got his second basket of the night. Conley is so adept in pick and roll sets. The defense never knowing if he's going to pass or shoot after the screen. Martin finds Capella. Here's Green. Second chance effort. Gobert with the block. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And the basket by Ingles. Ingles has got the lead up to nine now for the Jazz. Good job by Mitchell trusting his teammates. And in turn, that's going to open up opportunities for him. Conley against Westbrook. And yes, it's good. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Wynn. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort and he brings the energy. Now here's Gobert. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Donovan Mitchell, he covers every base, even showing the touch from mid-range. Here's Westbrook. That bucket. Westbrook's got four points in the quarter. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Conley kicks to Gobert. Mitchell passes to Conley. Poked away. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. The Rockets shooting their first free throw of the game right now. The throw good. James Harden. And Harden finished second in MVP voting in 2017, won the MVP in 2018. A multi-talented combo guard who just seems to get better every season. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. Bogdanovich finds Conley. the way it's a good shot and now he's three for seven and look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake left his feet way too soon or three Westbrook he can't get it to go you like that he's still attacking but the results tonight just haven't been there Mr. Gobert five on the clock 
is Bogdanovich. And no good that time. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Six-point game. Harden dishes to Tucker. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Tucker's got his first basket of the night. They are just killing him on the interior. Conley kicks to Mitchell. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got five rebounds tonight. Green, the pass to Capella. And here's Westbrook from the arc. That one doesn't go. Now the Jazz take it the other way. Shot and game clock separated by five. Go bear with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. That one drops for him. And the Jazz lead by six. Good find and one of Gobert's advantages as a passer, he can see over everyone's head. And that concludes the first half. It's the Jazz up six. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. With Coach Quinn Snyder, Quinn, what has to happen in the second half? Well, we got to keep getting stops and really just make plays. Make plays on the offensive end and, and be solid defensively. No, no magic. It's a pretty simple game, right, Coach? Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO. Standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Got Shaq here. Got Kenny the Jet. Well, for the Jazz, after falling into a 1-0 hole to start the series, they look to be getting back on the right track here tonight. And it's crucial that they do hold on to this halftime lead because falling behind 2-0 would leave them with a very steep hill to climb. And, uh, Kenny, what'd you see out there from the Jazz? Well, there was one pleasant surprise, and that was the bench. They gave him a big lift. Those guys came into the game, they did all the dirty work, and they scored baskets. Shaq, how'd you think the Rockets were playing? It reminds me of me at the free throw line. They had a rough half of shooting, come to 35%. Some of that was great defense, but a lot of it was poor shot selection. They've got to revise the game plan, get guys open for a higher quality work. And the shooters need to go out and execute. Man, come on! And now with the second half about to get underway, Let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Boyan Bogdanovich with a strong contribution so far in this one. With so much on the line tonight, you have to be impressed with the way he came out and set the tone with his aggression. He's one of those players who can turn up when necessary, and you need those guys in big games. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Tucker and Capella are up front, and it's Green in at the three side. They're the group for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. I love Donovan Mitchell's versatility as a scorer. Half court in transition at the line, adapts his game to whatever the night calls for. good on the free throw. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. I can't believe he missed those shots. Wow, he is usually lights out from there. Jazz leading by six. Knocked away. Stolen by Harden. Oh, 
kept alive. Here's Tucker. Lays it up and banks it in. Tucker's got the first basket of the second half here for Houston. Finally getting one to fall. They were 0 for 3 to start this half. Mitchell against Harden. Bengals trying to get open. And it's Mitchell missing. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Westbrook with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The Rockets shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Russell Westbrook. Two shots. And the first one falls. McLemore's checked in for the Rockets. And Utah also making a switch. Exum, he's checked in for Mike Conley. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And here is Mitchell. He kicks to Bogdanovich. Past Ingles. Here's Mitchell. Trying to break that ice cold streak. No good on that one. Good work defensively by Capella. And the pass to Westbrook. For the lead. Houston gets it back. Here's Capella. Can't tie it up as that one misses. And so it's Exum with it. I'll bring it up for the Utah Jazz. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Harden against Mitchell. Over Harden. Here's Gobert. Good work defensively by Capella. They just don't have it right now. 0 for 4. Must have been one poor speech at halftime. You could see their confidence growing. They have reason to believe. Yeah, the reason is they tied it up. But it took a lot of focus and a lot of energy. We'll see if they can sustain this effort. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Jazz shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And the first one drops. Growing before our eyes, the confidence of Gobert. Comfortable doing a little of everything now. Houston with a big group substitution here. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Clint Capella. Daniel House comes in for P.J. Tucker. Gordon's checked in for McLemore. And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. Utah also making some changes. Jeff Green, he's checked in for Joe Ingles. O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Moutier in for Donovan Mitchell. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. The wheels have come off a little bit leading up to this timeout. He has taken some low percentage shots, and it's killing the floor of their offense. More motion, more ball movement. That should lead to better looks for him and for their entire team. For Houston, they've gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Harden outside. Gobert with the block. With plays like that, Gobert can start to get in your head. He covers so much ground. Block at six. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon. Rebound, Utah. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. 
Down low. And slam dunk by Gobert. A tall guard who can see over the defense. Exum with no trouble locating the open teammate. Here's Rivers. Gobert with the block. And he gets it back. Rivers can't get it to go. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now here's Gobert. Kicks it to O'Neal. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. A different look for Utah. Ed Davis has checked in for Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in for Exmouth. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Moutier against Harden. Stolen by Harden. And the layup's good off the glass. Harden's got five now. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. Here's Conley. He gets that one. And the Jazz lead by four. That shot, Conley has perfected it. The little teardrop. This is it to Rivers. It's going by Moutier. Green left side. And it's Green with the jam. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greg, he lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Now here's Chandler. Just five to shoot. Houston needs to get a shot. Harden, no good. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their calls. We like to have that one back. That's easy money. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. And he can't get the first one. Houston making a switch here. Green's checked in. Utah also making some changes. Joe Ingles, who's checked in for Green. Bogdanovich comes in for O'Neal. And it's Mitchell in for Moutier. That one is no good. No doubt the fight's there. They are trying to battle back, but he's just really struggling. This Conley inside the line, but they recover it. Bogdanovich looking around. Rivers against Conley. Green with the rebound. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have the confidence. You have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. And so it's Utah with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And we'll be back with you shortly. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. And so in the game for the Jazz. At the forward slot, it's Bogdanovich and Ingle. Conley runs the point with Mitchell flanking him. And it's Davis in at the five down low. Finding a man wide open, Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. Here's Green. Bogdanovich picking up that last basket. Rivers surveying the D. Pass to Capella. 
over Conley. And it's Capella missing. Utah leading by eight. Outside Bogdanovich. Conley against Capella. Pass to Mitchell on the arc. Here's Davis. It's stolen by Capella. Rivers against Conley. Rivers, defense right on him. Lob pass to Capella. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. They grab their own miss. And the basket by Ingles. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Now a timeout called by Houston. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. He's checked in for the Rockets. Westbrook comes in for Austin Rivers. And Utah with a change here, too. Go Bears checked in. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Mike D'Antoni talked to his team. He is not pleased. He told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move, or I've got to pull the plug. And we're doing stuff, Kevin. Back to you. Now, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. I mean, Wayne. Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. You won't find many players with the quickness of Mike Conley. He can dice you up. Or three, Westbrook. Utah with the rebound. Ingles has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Conley finds Mitchell looking to end his cold spell and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got three assists tonight. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. The pass to Gordon. Westbrook with a wide open look. Offensive rebound and the jump by Capella. Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. And the Jazz call time here. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor and these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. of our Jordan player of the game, Rudy Gobert. And his shooting percentage reflects just how efficient he's been. It's better than 50%, always a sign of a solid offensive performance. But his movement and his shot selection have also both been tremendous. Falling into a two-game hole would have been a disaster, and he knew it. He's done everything in his power to get momentum back on their side in this series. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. We love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his team. Gordon against Mitchell. 
And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First free throw is good. James Harden. He's checked in for Eric Gordon. Both good from the line that time. Rockets trail by 10. Now Harden. Stolen by Mitchell. Last break, here come the Jazz. Pat Donovich wide open. The Jazz again can't hit it. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. Can't hit that one. Good D by Mitchell. One thirty-seven left in the fourth quarter. Gobert finds Mitchell. Down to five on the shot clock. Utah needs to get off a shot here, and the basket is good. And right there, Donovan Mitchell showing off that confidence. He's quick, and he's powerful. Harden scanning the floor, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. Shooting for Houston. First one falls for me. Harden hits them both. Jazz leading by 10. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for the Jazz. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this one. Such an overall great performance it was for Rudy Gobert. When it comes to protecting the rim, there are numerous ways to do that. The most exciting of those just send shots back. And that's what he did tonight in volume. They get the rebound. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Capella. Jazz ball. The Jazz on offense. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Outside, Davis. And so it's Utah with the win. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. With Dante Exum. Dante, still a young guy in this league. What do you want to focus on with your development? Um, you know, I think it's just staying in the defensive end. You know, sometimes in the heat of the play, you kind of lose sight of it. And it's just about staying in there and just helping your teammates out. So, A very young guy on a very good team. Thank you, Dante. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, 
This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.